Hey everybody, it's Christine Barger, and today I'm talking about the new playlist feature on TikTok. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you for supporting my channel here and um, TikTok and Instagram. I appreciate all of you, and I love seeing your comments and your likes on all my content. Uh, it just warms my heart, and I appreciate you. Okay, I'm really excited about playlists. I know that YouTube has had this feature for a really long time. So a lot of you are already familiar with it, but if you're not, a playlist is set up for creators to divide their content into different lists so their fans can find the content that they are there for. So for me, I'm an actor and a ventriloquist and I like things that have to do with ghosts and aliens. So I've created separate playlists on my TikTok and here on YouTube. So you can find that content. If you are just a fan of me as a ventriloquist, then you could go to the playlist and you could see just the ventriloquist videos or as an actor, you can go see the acting videos or if you're just into ghosts and aliens, you could go and look at those playlists as well. But it keeps my content separate. So if someone is like, mm, not really into the alien content, then they can skip over that through a playlist and just watch maybe the puppets. Um, if you don't have this feature yet on your TikTok, it is possible that maybe it's not available in your region or for your phone yet. However, uh, make sure you've updated your app to the most recent version of TikTok. That is going to be the main reason that you don't see it pop up if it's just not there. It's a good chance that you just didn't do the update yet. Your phone maybe didn't automatically do it. If you need to delete your app and reinstall it in order to update, I want to warn you, you will lose all of your drafts of your videos. So anything you have in your drafts area, they'll just disappear. So make sure you're aware of that before you do anything crazy like delete and reinstall. Uh, if it's still not working, I'm so sorry, reach out to TikTok. I'm not tech support, so I don't have any further advice besides reach out to TikTok support and ask them why you don't have access to it. All right, so let's go ahead, open it up, and I will show you how it works. When you go to your profile, you should see sort videos in a playlist right there above your videos. Just click that, and it explains it here. Hit start creating. It's very simple. Now you're going to name your playlist. Think about a good name that is going to be descriptive of what your content will be. This one is going to be a ventriloquism playlist for me. So type that in, hit next, and then you will add videos to your playlist. Now, this is a little different than YouTube because on YouTube you can add videos to multiple playlists. Here you can only choose one playlist for your video to be on. So if you have a video like mine, which is maybe comedy and ventriloquism, if I was going to do a comedy list, I'd have to choose things uh, to be either in the comedy or the ventriloquism playlist. Or here, if I have an acting and a ventriloquist video, I'll only be able to add it to one or other. So you have to decide which playlist your video fits in best. All right, as you can see, I'm just scrolling through, I'm tapping on videos and it's adding them to the list. And I'm gonna hit next, Oop, notification for Clubhouse. If you're on Clubhouse, follow me there. Uh, all right, I'm going to hit next. I have 11 videos in this playlist and then I hit create playlist and there it is. It's so easy and then it lists it as part of that playlist. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another one for acting. It's the same thing. Uh, create a title that you think is interesting but descriptive and then go through and just click on different videos that you think will fit that playlist the best. Now you'll notice I can't choose the other videos that were on my acting or on my ventriloquist playlist. They are not available for me to choose here, like that one there with grandpa. So again, reminder, you can only put a video on one playlist, choose the playlist that is best for that video. All right, so I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna click some more of these and hit next, and then I'll go and I'll create more playlists. It really is simple, but it's such a great tool for you to use, especially if you're doing a series on maybe, uh, maybe you're a food content creator and you're doing a series on how to cook the perfect dinner and how to cook the perfect breakfast, you can put those in separate playlists so people looking for breakfast foods can go through the breakfast list and people looking for dinners can go through the dinner list and, and so forth. Um, I'm really excited that this is now an option here on TikTok and uh, I hope that you'll take a moment to head over and check out my different playlists. I need to update more than just what I'm doing here because 
I'm clearly not paying that much attention and just clicking on videos that I know off the top of my head fit the playlist. But um, I'm going to go in and update these once I'm done. As you can see here, create the playlist. Boom, there it is, Actor Life. It says it on there. And you can see the little icons right above the videos. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make more playlists, but you don't need to stay around and watch that. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next week. Go be a light in the world. Oh, and P.S. Thank you to everybody for the birthday wishes. Um, I know I didn't get a chance to say thank you to everybody individually, but thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. My birthday was Wednesday and I was just overwhelmed with love and I appreciate you all. So thank you. See you next week.